and welcome back for more Explore Tulsa. We love it when we find people for our show that are doing more than just making a living while doing their job. Especially people like Janice Jones, who makes a living making a life for others to live. For 13 years, uh, I was married to a crack cocaine addict. Knowing where I am today and knowing what could have happened has given me a positive outlook on the people who hurt me. And in that, I go into the prisons, I go into the jails, and I help women who are caught up in a cycle that they have no idea about. Well, I got incarcerated in April of 2009. I met Janice Jones, the executive director, in July of 2010. At the time that I met her, I was in a treatment program. I'm in recovery from 23 years of methamphetamine addiction and a childhood of trauma, so I was a couple years sober. So when I met Janice and I became a part of her program, just the beginning, I started to get discipled and I started to recognize that um, she was giving me something that I wasn't getting through the, maybe the medical treatment side. Um, and that was, how do I find my purpose? One of the things we do is trauma care. Trauma care is where you'll go back to the beginning, wherever that is, as far back as you can remember. And it goes, it's in stages, it's a process to help you recognize where it is and how you got to be in that place. Once we identify, we work through those issues and we go deeper and we go as deep as we can go. And in those processes, there are people there to help mentor them through the process. See, it's not the drug addiction that's the problem. It's the trauma that's the problem. I had to get out of my own trauma in order to um, get to the place of helping other women. And it's not just helping them. We, are, we here at Just the Beginning Incorporated want women to not only be the business owners they're supposed to be, be the moms they're supposed to be, the successful um, wife they're supposed to be. We want them to be the full, whole person. And that's what we do here. To pull them out of the cycle is, the, is a critical part of what we do. When I was in the middle of addiction, I had no idea. I felt most of the time like I didn't even deserve to breathe. And I literally had no idea who I was because I started using at the age of 14. And it was through this discipleship process that I began to recognize, you know, Kimberly is her own person. She has a purpose in her own life that she can fulfill. She's not here just to supply needs for other people or to mold herself into whatever setting there, there is that she's in in the moment. And it's so hard to describe what that feels like in words, um, but this is the exact opposite. So now it's, it's hopeful. The graduations are totally graduation. They have a 100 hour program and just the beginning helps facilitate that program. And we facilitate that program through um, teaching on codependency, which is a place that I can relate to because I was there. After the 100 hour course, these particular women, anywhere from 20 to 25, they graduate the program. And it's a really exciting time. A lot of those women have never had any kind of celebration of who they are or an accomplishment. So it's really, really exciting. Right now we're doing it out of my home, which is amazing, but it's getting small fast. So we have a class of 14. So right now we're looking for a location. You know, what kind of location can we move into? Because the second wave of women are coming. We've already got several women lined up for the next wave. So we're gonna have all of a sudden 30 women that we're gonna be teaching in a classroom, providing resources for, getting in-depth conversations with them about their trauma care. They need clothing. They need, um, they need support in regards to like hygiene items. They, they don't have these things. They're coming either out of addiction, they're in between um, their, their case, if it's a legal situation. So they're kind of not wanting to go back to the world. So how do we do that? You know, I want to provide them resources. Eventually we want to provide them some housing options. Most importantly, we want to get them employed. Employment is purpose and that's what helped me a lot in my own personal recovery is I became employed. We need communities to know. We need 
businesses in our community to know it's okay if someone has a felony conviction to go ahead and, and employ them and see if you can't give them an opportunity to rebuild their lives. When women lose their sense of identity, which some of them have never had, and they gain it, it's a process of new living. That's why the name of the program is just the beginning.